Jared Poland Froknowsphoto.com. And this is another video from the Super Secret Film Project. But this time we're going to look at a roll of images that I took, all 36 shots from a Flyers game, but I shot them from my seats. Now, as you can see on the left-hand side over here, there's a lot of rolls of film that I still need to go through to show you guys the images that I was capturing when I was 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. And I also have hundreds of other negatives that need to get scanned from when I was shooting concerts from the time I was 19 until I stopped shooting film. I want to get those scanned so that I can show you the very first concerts I shot so you can learn from what I was doing and see that I wasn't always good at what I was doing. That's what the Super Secret Film Project is all about. Uh, I already did one roll of film that I showed you guys from when I was in junior high school when I was shooting in running man mode but now I want to show you shooting hockey and let's start right here okay so sitting in seats I know we were not in the best seats in the world I had my Canon EO salon I had a 100 to 300 5.6 and I didn't know what I was doing I was terrible none of these are corrected or edited they're just scanned into the computer as basic JPEGs from the negatives so we're gonna take a look at these 36 pictures and break them down you know, so I had to fight through. You can see that there's the stanchion here and the glass, and everything's bluer through the glass. I talked about this in the past, that that glass gives off a blue hue, a blue tint. This is, uh, what was his name? It wasn't Nitamaki. Uh, we'll see it in, in one of the further pictures. But what you can see is that the exposures aren't very good because I'm shooting in running man mode, shooting hockey, which meant that everything was getting thrown off by the ice. That's not, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. This is Mike Ricci. Mike Ricci was traded for Lindros and so many other flyers. Uh, we so made them a championship play, uh, team. But look, not a very good shot. Top of the glass is here. He's here. Yeah, what I want you to look at for, for images like this is that did I capture something that if the exposure was better, the image would be good? Because composition and framing is so important. But... So is exposure. So we get like this. I didn't even know Hextall was still in gold. Look how much smaller the pads were back then. And after a while, the pads got much bigger, and then they shrunk back down again. So I'm doing the best that I can to try to capture action shots. Rod Brindamore, out of focus. You're shooting through glass, shooting with a crappy lens. Didn't know what I was doing. But look, trying to get action. I don't know. What the hell is that? I don't know. But I also made an observation here. Is there something that you see when you look into the crowd? Is there something you notice? Not one person is on a cell phone. Why are they not on a cell phone? Because this is probably 1994. And they didn't exactly have cell phones that you actually wanted to do something on. So everybody paid attention. That's something I noticed in the recent hockey that I shot is everybody's on their freaking phone trying to take pictures. Um, uh, Ninema. Ninema was his name. So this is a good action shot. Yes, the this is in the way and this is in the way. And none of this is cropped. What you are seeing is how I shot it. I was all about filling the frame even back then. Just that it's personal preference. We talk about that all the time. You can crop if you want. You can crop if you want to. You can go to the town all day. But if you go ahead and you crop, you're going to get a crappy photo. Oh, hey. Oh, my. Yeah. Anyway, I just made that up. Um, so here, action going to the net. You've got uh, Chris Terrian. And I don't know who 28 is on, on them, but Jaffa Gloves. Oh, yeah. So not bad action to capture. Um, uh... Is that Trent Cla Oh, that's um, this is John LeClaire, number 10, and this is uh, Eric Desjardins. So not bad action. I mean, look, I'm in a terrible seat, but I'm getting the action. Mar uh, this is bad. That's uh, Paul Coffey, so trying to get that shot there. So look, this is not bad action, and this looks like she's on a... Uh, I don't know what she's on. She She's probably on a... What's it called? A, a point-and-shoot camera. But look, getting the action. But look, not a good action. Not a good shot. Claude Lemieux, screw him. Uh, Joe Sackick, though, bottom right corner. Other action. Joel Otto sitting on the bench. God, I remember all these names. John LeClaire, uh, Michael Renberg. Look, out of focus. This guy's in focus. But you can start to see the understanding of capturing the moment. Is that Pat Falloon? That's Pat Falloon. This is um, Patrick Waugh. So, look, these aren't terrible. Like, this, is, this isn't a terrible angle. You can start to see that... I'm understanding what's going on when shooting. And again, the exposures are horrible. That's uh, Brown, uh, our fighter. Uh, the Oh, no. no. Dave Brown had retired by then. This is the other goon. I forget his name already. But you can see that there's action in front of the net, and I'm going there, and I'm capturing it. And again, this is 36 shots. Joel Otto, 
foot. Who's 26 for the Flyers? I don't know. Ninema, again, shooting. See, not bad from where I'm sitting. So starting to get some action. Chris Tarion behind the net. Don't know who the ref is there. Oops, I didn't, I didn't reverse this one. Yep, Ricci, Ninema, Ninema, uh, Dynas Zuberis. He's still playing. And that's Dave Brown on the bench, I believe, right there. I think. Oh, yeah, and that's Terry Murray right there. But so, look, I just went through 36 pictures. You can see that this should give you a lot of confidence to go out and shoot. This is where I was shooting. This was one of my first experiences shooting the Flyers. I took my camera in with me. I guess I could change lenses, and I, and I, you know, they didn't stop me back then. I could just bring it in, and I can shoot. I wasn't very good, though, but I was starting to train myself. What I would do at home is I'd sit and watch TV. I'd watch the Flyers playing on TV. I'd sit there with an empty camera, my ears all on, and as the players would turn on the ice, on TV, I would shoot TV. I would shoot pictures of the TV. Why was I doing that? Because I was training my eye to capture the moment. When that player turned around the circle, when he came up the ice, I knew that's when I needed to take the picture. So I started to train my eye that way with no film in the camera, just shooting the TV to start to see what a good image should be. Now, these images aren't very good. The exposures are freaking horrible, but the exposures didn't change. Like I tell people... Maybe I was in manual back then. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if somebody told me to get into manual. No, it's just so underexposed. It's so bad. 800-speed film is probably what I was shooting. I just didn't know any better. I mean, that's one of those things when you don't know any better, you have to learn and you have to get there. So I had people that hopefully helped me out over time. The reason that I'm pointing out this, these super secret film project videos is because I want you to see where I started. I am... I am you know, 33, and when then on the 21st of January, I'll be 34, and I started shooting uh, 20 years ago. You know, 20 years is a long time to be shooting, and it takes time to get good at what you're doing, uh, to feel comfortable and confident. But again, this is what I was shooting, not the best stuff in the world, so I want you guys to understand that it's not going to happen overnight. But this is where I started. You can get there, too. Just keep shooting and keep learning and keep flying and keep trying and knowing that I'll always count on you for sure. That's what friends are for. And I'll leave it at that. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. So if you want to see the photos from that baseball game I was talking about, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you to those where I was in running man mode. But don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube to get notified when all of the videos go live.